Back and today we got Gunslinger BS Old West Suicidal. And uh, today I'm playing some more Maple Story. Been having fun. Um, but uh, I haven't made too much progress. I don't really have too much to say. Nobody's added me, which is about what I expected. It's about about about. Oh my god, my my voice is like just not doing hot right now. Um. Like, it's not, it doesn't hurt, it just sounds bad. <clears throat> Take some water. See if we can't get that throat there cleared up. Um. Yeah, nobody added me, which is about what I expected, honestly. Um. Haven't made too much progress. Already kind of feeling a little bit of that, uh, grind despair that I talked about. But, um, yeah, it's fine. At the point I'm at, it's still it's still possible to get by just making characters and, and uh, having fun. So, oh my god, my voice is not really good right now. It's just going to be a bad voice for, like, the a day here. Yeah, it's just, um, <laughs> just deal with it today, I suppose, because I'm not in, like, pain. I don't feel sick or anything. It's just, um, I don't know, maybe my diet today has uh, not necessarily been so conducive to... Maintaining a, a speech for for long term, or at all because I just started. I don't know, um, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, um, outside of the maple tree stuff, I've been reading, continuing. Oops, uh, continuing to read um, the uh, I stack experience through writing books. Still just such a garbage manhwa, it really is. It's just bad. Um, but I'm, I'm beginning to think more and more that it's like intentionally bad. Because it's, it's really, really bad. Um, and uh, I... Uh, one thing that kind of gets me about um, reading Korean manhwa, like Korean media in general, is um or even like any kind of foreign media um but uh i'm relatively so with with languages there's like uh and then there's probably a specific term for it um but there's like a point at which the language no longer sounds foreign to you you know like when when if you don't speak any japanese if you don't speak any french any Spanish, German, you know, whatever, and you hear somebody who is speaking that language that you don't speak and you don't know, you know, any of it and you're, you're not experienced with it, it's going to sound foreign. You're not going to be able to understand what the words are. You're not even going to be able to, like, sound it out and, like, piece apart the words because it's just, it's completely foreign. You have no idea, like, how to, like, on, on a, whatever aspect of your brain it is that, that handles you know, that kind of stuff, you're not going to be able to, to piece apart the, um, the, uh, is it here? Yeah. You're not going to be able to piece apart the, the, the words that are being spoken because you just, you don't have the knowledge necessary to be able to do that confidently. Um, and then there comes a point after, after, um, you know, being immersed in the language for a while where that kind of feeling goes away and it no longer feels foreign to you. You know, you might not necessarily understand what's being said, but you'll you'll be able to like hear it and then like somebody says, "Hey, what did they say?" and you'll be able to tell them what they said. You'll be able to like repeat the words because you 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 were able to to hear the individual sounds that were being made instead of just like gibberish. Like it, it sounds like words, you know? Um, you know, you understand what they sound like, you understand, you know, you understand it all. Um, so, um, that's, that's my experience with it anyway, and I'm, I'm, it's, it's a strong enough feeling for me to where I'm fairly confident that it's like a, an actual, like, thing that happens to people. Um, and there, there's probably like a, a specific word for it. Uh, in the like linguistic 
uh, universe. Um, I don't know what it is, but but I'm fairly sure there there would be because it's uh, it feels like a pretty significant step towards um, like language comprehension, you know, being able to, to actually like hear the, the the words that are being said as as words rather than just sounds, I guess. Um, anyway, for for Japanese. You know, Japanese is a foreign language to me, but it's at, you know, I've, I've been immersed in the, the language through through anime and um, through studying it long enough that, that it doesn't feel foreign anymore. So when, when somebody's talking to me in Japanese, I can generally speaking understand what they're saying. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be able to, to at least, like, know what they said and be like, hey, what did, what did like, this mean, you know? And, um... So, uh, in Japanese, when, when people are, you know, telling me names and stuff, or when I'm reading names, or watching an anime and somebody introduces themselves, or whatever, um, it doesn't sound like a foreign name to me, if that makes sense. It doesn't sound like, it, it sounds like a name. Because the language is a language to me, so it sounds like a name. However, in Korean, I, I don't have that. Korean is, is a very, very foreign language to me. I don't... If somebody's talking to me in Korean, I'm, I have no idea what they're saying. I don't even know, like, you know, at what point does the word stop and, like, the next word start, you know? Like, I, I have no clue anything that I need, I need to know to be able to make my way in, uh, in any kind of Korean uh, context. Right? It's just, it's just the, the knowledge is just not there. Um, which is fine. I don't have to have it there. Um, my understanding is that it's a, it's a reasonably easy language to learn. Um, but I, I haven't learned it, so I can't say for sure one or the other. I, I, uh, I've, I've had a lot of people tell me that Korean is easy to learn. But I, I, I generally think that learning any language is, if it's got a different structure and different alphabet and grammar and stuff to, to what your language uses it's gonna be pretty hard to learn um, just because it's you have to you have to relearn everything that you kind of take for granted oh my god my voice dude um so yeah that's 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 kind of my opinion on it but uh, I, 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 people tell me that it's easy to learn, so I don't know. Maybe it is. I'm not sure if I will learn it or not. Probably not. Um, I'm still working on Japanese to a certain extent. Um, so that's that's kind of got my, my language thing. And a little bit of French. A little bit of French. Not much. Um, people, people say don't learn two languages at the same time, but... I already have, like, the, the basics for French, you know? Like, I, I, uh, I went to school in Canada. We, we learned French. I just, I've forgotten it. I'm trying to learn some vocabulary and stuff at, uh, at times when I have, uh, when I have a, a moment to, to do a little bit of studying. Um, just so that I can know French, because it's a fairly convenient language to know when you're living in Canada. Which is a, uh, a French-speaking nation, to a certain extent, anyway. Um... And then I'm also trying to learn Japanese because I'm a weeb and I want to be able to read manga and light novels and stuff like that without having to get uh, somebody else to translate it for me. And then maybe eventually like be a translator or something would be pretty cool. Um, anyway, so I'm not sure if I'll add Korean into that list. If I did, it would have to come like later down the line once I'm more confident with uh, Japanese. Um, for right now, eh. You know, eh. Um, but, uh, anyway, so moral of the story, you know, bottom line here is, um, when I'm reading Korean media, the names just feel so strange to me, because, like, where'd you go? You went that way. Because, um, you know, you'll, you'll be reading, like, English, because it's translated, right? And uh, then it'll come out with, with some sure Korean you? name, which is written in Korean. Well, not not in the Korean characters, but uh, um, like a, a, I don't know, is it is it called a transliteration? 
It's it's their name, like the way you would pronounce it, sort of, written with uh, in, you know, English, sort of, using the Latin characters, whatever. Okay, who cares? Um, <clears throat> but um, or the whatever, whatever. You know, it's uh, the names come up right, and so you end up reading it. It just it, they they sound so. I don't want to, like, be rude, is the thing. Because I don't want to say that they sound funny. Because that's not really, like, what I mean. Um, because, like, they're just they're just names, you know? Like, like if, if you speak Korean, you live in Korea, like, these are these are names, right? Like, they're normal names. They might even be nice names if you if you speak Korean and, and you, you're, you were raised in that kind of culture. I wasn't. Um, so, to me, these names just feel... I don't know, fascinating might be a, a better word for it. it. It's more of the, um... Because the names themselves aren't, like, there's nothing wrong with the names, you know? It's it's, it's my perception of them that I that I find funny. Um... Uh, just, just because it's, it, like... It, it's not really something that I, I think about too often, you know? Because most of the people in my life are people... Um... Who are... Uh, English speaking, um, or, you know, from, uh, you know, some romance country or something. And, uh, generally speaking, our, uh, our names tend to be fairly normal to my perspective, right? Um, you know, so, like, my name is Charlotte. Uh, you might find some, you know, Dominic's, you might find some, um, you know, like, like, just, just normal, you know, names from, from my perspective, things that if you're an English-speaking person living in an English-speaking country, you're probably going to be familiar with, right? But if you, if you go to, like, Korea, or China, Japan, um, you know, even, like, Russia, probably, um, India, uh, Africa, like, a lot of places in the world, like, the names change so drastically, and, like, what constitutes a good name, and, like, a pretty name, is, it, it changes so drastically, you know? Like, somebody in Korea, like, my name, Charlotte, is, is a, is a, is a very nice English name, you know? Like, it, and, and that's not, like, you know, to be you know, egotistical or whatever, I, I picked it because I don't really like it. Uh, that's why I gave it to myself. Um, but, uh, you know, it's it's a good name, right? Like, it's always up on the charts. It's very popular. People like it. It's, it's a good name. It has a history and, you know, yada, yada, yada. If you go over to, like, I'm talking Korea right now, so I guess we'll use that as an example. If you go over to Korea... All of a sudden, like a lot of that culture around my name, which which makes it a good name in the first place, is gone because you know now it's it's something that's just completely different, something that I can't even pronounce because like English doesn't have the sounds necessary to be able to to actually make to to actually like say the name, which is is just it's 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 cool. I like it. But it does, uh, it does look really strange when I'm when I'm reading something and it's like Korean, uh, like English text, and then all of a sudden it's like a Korean name that's just like, I don't even know how the heck I'm supposed to start <laughs> pronouncing that. Like, like there's this one character in the in the manhwa whose name is like Inguk, and I, I swear to God I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, it's it's this. Is how it's spelled in the in the manhwa, with the uh, with the English fan translation, and I'm like, Inguk, Inguk, Inguk. Like I have no idea what like sounds I'm supposed to be making to pronounce it. It just it just looks like gibberish to me, and um, I don't know. I really I really like that. I, I have no opinion on whether it's a good name or a bad name. Um, all I know is that I have no idea how to say it, 
and I think that's funny. Not the name, just just my inability to pronounce it. Because it uh, it ends up like bothering me as I'm reading it. Because like I I like when I'm when I'm reading something to know kind of like at least something about the culture of of who made uh, what I'm reading, so that I can kind of understand some of the references and um, you know be, be just a little bit more immersed in the in the world a little bit sort of. Um, but with something like that, I'm like, I just, I got no idea, dude. I, uh, I have no idea how to pronounce it. So I'm, I'm gonna see if I can't maybe look up some, like, Korean pronunciation guides at least or something so that I can learn how to, like, pronounce these names that come up. Because I just, I have no idea. There's, there's so many, like, like, there's a lot of, like, this kind of stuff with the, like, J-E-O, S-E-O, you know, this kind of stuff. And I know that, uh, you know, like, Seoul, the capital of Korea. Like, I know how that's pronounced in English. I don't know how it's pronounced in Korean. You know, like, do how do... If, if you're a Korean person living in Korea, do you, do you pronounce Seoul the same way that, that I would? Like, the, 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 the city? Not the, like, you know... The, the thing that's maybe there or maybe not there kind of thing, you know? Like, that kind of thing. So I, I, I reckon that it's like Jong Sok or something like that, but I'm just like, I have no clue, dude. And uh, I want to learn so that I can I can better understand it. But for right now, I just laugh at my my inability to, to read it. Because it just, it comes out of nowhere, dude. It comes out of nowhere and I'm like, what am I, what am I to do? How do I, how do I read this? I have no idea. So I just suffer. That's that's how I that's how I read it. I read it by suffering. It's the answer to, to none of life's problems, but uh, it's a solution that we try all too often. And uh, at the very least, it makes me feel like I've solved the problem because now I have a different problem, which is that I I, I uh, I'm instead of looking it up and, and having to figure out how I do that, I just uh, pretend as though it doesn't matter. But really, it does. To like the the most minor of degrees. Any hoozle. I'll see if I can't find a uh, pronunciation guide or something like that for this kind of stuff, so that I can understand it. Cause I want to, you know. I uh, I, I I appreciate the the subtleties in in these kinds of things, and oftentimes there are. Oftentimes there there are um, little bits of you know Easter eggs or something in somebody's name. Um, you know, it, it happens. It's been known to happen, for sure. I want to be, I want to be the kind of person that, uh, that, that, that gets that, you know? I don't think there's much hidden in the, in the, I stack experience through writing books. I don't, I don't think they're really doing too much subtlety there. It's just uh, a lot of very opaque badness, but, um, you know? It is. It is fun. It 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 is a very enjoyable manga, though. Which is why it makes me think that uh, it's it's totally. Um, oh come on, that was a hit. That was a hit, dude. Which is why it makes me think that it's like a parody because it's too good at being bad to not be a parody. So it's got to be a parody. It's got to be making fun of all the other ones. It, it has to be. Like, there's no way it isn't. Because it's so good. At being bad, you know? <laughs> I really like it. In the uh, in the sense that I hate it. It's not cringe humor. Cringe humor is something I can't do. It's, you know, like, uh, The Office. A lot of people are like, why can't you watch it? Like, uh, it's not, you know, just, it's not like, uh that bad like just just you just laugh at it it's it's just funny like you don't have to but like it's just like it's not funny to me <laughs> is the thing like cringe humor is just not funny i just get really like like i just feel awkward <laughs> um but it's not cringe humor it's not like you're laughing at how cringy it is it's just humorous
Where are you going? Where, where are you going, buddy? Where are you going, buddy? Wow, this one's got launched behind. Holy cow. Look how far they got. Look how far they got, dude. Anyways, that's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you liked it, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.